And the last speaker is Director Chu sung from Electronics and Telecommunication Research Institute. Hi, everyone. So today I'll be uh, talking about ICT for digital transformation of aquaculture. So my office is located in Taejeon and 2,300 people are working for the organization. And recently we are researching AI and also quantum computing. And the, the center that I uh, belong to is co conducting research on the latest uh, technologies that we can apply to agriculture, animal industry, and also marine industry. And by 2050, the global population will only increase. However, agriculture, livestock, and also aquaculture industry are becoming more vulnerable to a climate change, experiencing worse working conditions and production conditions. So meaning that we have to shift the primary industry, not labor intensive, but to an industry with the latest technologies applied. And next, I would like to talk to you about the four different stages for the development of fish farming industry. For the first and second stage, those days were labor intensive only for production. But as we started to utilize high technology for the third stage, we will be able to achieve fish farm without the human intervention. As you know, existing fish net has IoT system installed and so many equipment and also devices are installed. That was the early stage of a smart aquaculture. And as is previously mentioned recently, the AI is widely used in our society. And also when we looked at the utilization of the AI in agriculture industry, the cameras are installed under water. So without human intervention and human decision making, the length and weight of a fish can be monitored and also analyzed. And also, by combining with the video recognition technology, we can monitor the feed consumed by fishes for the amount of uh, the feed being taken by fishes. And also when we run fishnet, there's a history, right, of running the facility and also based on the status of the fishnet, even the AI can be used for management of aquaculture facility and this is one of the our research area for smart aquaculture for operation for installation still ai is not being fully utilized so we try to find a way to minimize the cost and also install our sensor which is cost effective so today I would like to talk to you about Digital Twin. So by now you would know the concept of Digital Twin and what that is. As it speaks for itself, a Digital Twin is a digital representation of a real world entity or a system. So it can simulate things that cannot be built real term. So Digital Twin is mainly apply to smart factory and also mainly to energy industries. And recently, Digital Twin also can be used to make mock up of a human body to see whether a certain medication uh, is effective on the person or not. So when we apply the concept of Digital Twin to uh, fish farm 
will be uh, like this. So many different species and also sensors and also uh, controllers will be built as a mock-up. And data or the information for controlling will be received and simulation can be done, for example, energy analysis and also analyzing flow of water and also the growth of our fish. Based on the analysis of result, we can only choose the best so that we can best control the fish farm. So rather than simply trying to control it, we are dealing with actual living things, right? Of course, we cannot say that simulation uh, will be perfectly best suited to the situation, but still, by interacting with the actual system, we'll be able to further advance the technology behind the fish farm. So let me just briefly talk to you about the scenario for the fish farm like this. So in order to measure different environments, for example, we can use a PhD uh, measuring sensors. And for the fish farm, which grows uh, flat fish, the size of the fish tank could be as large as 10 to 20 meters. So uh, as we can not measure everything, we only take the representative figure. That's why it was very difficult for us to uh, make this a facility more precise. So this is the uh, digital uh, twin mock up. So based on the real value from sensors, you have orange uh, dots here where we have installed virtual uh, sensors. So for example, without installing real uh, sensors, we can install virtual uh, sensors and we can predict a potential figure from the sensors. For example, although it is uh, limited, we have a small tank uh, with eel inside and based on the data from the tank, we have a set of these many uh, data and we created a sensor to measure the weight of the eel and we have analyzed it using the AI and also the prediction rate went over 90%. So as you can see, we do not have much data. Uh, because this is only data that we have collected for the last five months. And in the future, once we accumulate more data, then I believe that the prediction rate will uh, go up. So without installing real sensors, we will be able to retrieve or collect the numbers from virtual sensors. So energy uh, is what takes most of the capex and we have to think about how we can really enhance the cost effectiveness and that's why we have applied this to twin whenever we design and also operate and also maintain fish farm there are different uh, standards for uh, for example temperatures for different uh, species so if we grow this speech the electricity consumption will be like this so we have used smart twin technology to predict and also analyze the potential electricity consumption and when we design and also build a fish farm for example there are many reasons across uh, Korea and according to the location of the uh, fish farm different species will be grown and also electricity consumption will be very varied from region to region so analysis can be done and we have done analysis on that so we first have to understand the status of the local fish farms and we try to come up with a very meaningful result that can help a fish farm. And we uh, have this fish farm with the eel as a test bed. So we have analyzed the design, the architecture of this fish farm, and we have analyzed energy consumption and also uh, the environment for growth and etc. We have set different uh, standards in order to grow eel. 
the temperature needs to be maintained at around 28 Celsius degrees. So within such a temperature limit, in order to respond to environmental changes, we have conducted research on how we can save more energy. And this uh, fish uh, farm, for example, before the owner sends out the eel to the market three days before, then they ha the, the person has to change the condition and the water needs to be diluted with more water, which is kind of a know-how of this specific uh, fish farm. So we have analyzed all these different uh, data, which was also reflected upon our modeling. So ultimately, in order to maintain the temperature, we have to think about the efficiency of the operation of the heat pump. And based on the basic modeling that we had, we made virtual uh, smart uh, twin fish farm and conducted simulation for one day and we could get 150,000 different cases which gives us an idea uh, for the best condition that we have to set in this way we could energy we could save energy and also save a cost as a result we have operated the fish farm for about a week and for one uh, fish tank the energy could be saved by nine percent which was verified by this research and thirdly when we do digital or twin many people might think of virtual reality right so we have uh, built the fish farm into 3d modeling like this one so you can see the equipment that you need to wear and even without paying an actual visit to the fish farm you almost feel like you are there and to check conditions over the fish farm and also you can check all the values from different instruments and this kind of interface is developed additionally and this is my last slide in 2035, we are going to deal with the fish and also livestock and also vegetables, how they are going to sit together into a kind of farm and energy distribution and also a consumption will be organically linked with each other to provide us with a stable supply of food. Thank you very much.